contract or something led to local coroner examining the body of William Burrow male Caucasian 33 year old man found dead on his property police report um, remains obtained for coroner's office also included blood urine bile stomach contents and bone fragments blunt force injuries head lacerations left ear and cheek blunt force injuries extremities dislocation right knee Complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of proximal right humerus. Extensive trauma abdominal region. Complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, portions of the large and small intestine, all missing from scene. This is not the result of mechanical accident as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Hello, they're players. Eating him. Yep. And now they're eating me. Then they're oh going to eat my me. God. One of the worst movies ever. Uh, redacted of a redacted 2019. To whom it may concern is with great anger and regret that I tendered my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. Anger and regret. I do this in protest the rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame the situation on our blank, 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 redacted, who has routinely ignored my request for assistance reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the redacted loose inside. I will never forget the screams of the of brave agents begging us to open the fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The redacted has failed his agents. I, director, I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. Mm -hmm. Polaris is saying go that way, but we don't have time for this video. Staffing issue. So yes, there is an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. You expect us to de detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. Simple math between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing is, and this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not be, still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. Okay. I would also like to point out the Hartman thing. What is Hartman? Hartman is the uh, psychologist that um, Alan Wake leaves to die uh, after unleashing the darkness on his institution. Oh, it's I've never played the game. I've watched it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah so um, that's Alan Wake's fault that yeah. a lot of agents died. <laughs> Yeah, it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our blank. Could be raccoons, the locals certainly complain about them enough, but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a brewer tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Redacted Lake, if they won't let me see any data. Hell, I don't Cauldron even... Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake, yeah. What they're researching out there? We need to petition them again to share their info with investigation as agents. It's only a matter of time before this redacted hits again. I don't, And I want to be repa prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, Tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Yeah, no, that's because the the um, the darkness can manipulate the animals in the area. Right. Director investigation. 
for authorization from Mr. Kirkland redacted was launched into the redacted Dr. Zachariah Trench recent change in redacted witness in director Trench including aggressor redacted when redacted with other staff has been observed however this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it notable redacting Dr. Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter Witness accounts suggest their arguments in around the dimensional research wing and the redacted kept inside. However, no evidence seems to s confirm Director Trench's redacted as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. It's concluded that Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of, of any redacted and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Refer to the You absolutely missed that he was possessed. To, to be fair, they probably didn't have the diagnostics to know that. Right. The hiss wasn't a thing yet. I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. The failures are your responsibility. Why did you think... What did you think would happen? Holding a dangerous specimen in investigations. The d containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on a certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. Prime Candidate Program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You're choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Direct Zachariah Trench, Director of Federal Bureau of Control. He's losing it. I'm... Oh, wow. There's lots of stuff to pick up. Oh, oh no. You, you mean... The previous director was... Not good? Yeah. Dr. Rhea under... Hill is a professor at the University of Rudrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill once worked at the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector, sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDA since leaving the Bureau. Paracriminal? I want I want that as a sequel. Paracriminal yeah. organization. Let's go. Yeah. Her civilian behavior has been... Make it intersect with uh, Max Payne. Yes. Her civilian behavior has been ideal with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. The investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request an under interim position with the aim of solution. By okay, that's reasonable, though she's annoying. Oh, no, that's all reasonable until we find out that Dr. Darling caused the entire his incident to keep her here. Really? I'm no. No, I'm being terrible. I'm Okay. I'm I'm just I'm just saying The thing is, Jessie's going to get so used to doing that that she's going to do it while everything's okay and you know, yeah. everyone's working here, and it's like, oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. So, uh, let me help you pick all the glass out of your face. Yeah. By authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation P1429 has launched the legality of the prime candidate program by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little first-hand information was gathered, however, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systemic redacted and redacted redacted were brought into the oldest house and placed under redacted examination and testing with the aim of point one as director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in a traumatic 
redacted or parent naturally inclined redacted hmm. not only is this a breach of the ash act but it ash act but it flies in the face of basic human redacted the investigation team unequivocally redacted the prime candidate program and recommends that it be redacted immediately good for you Go so on. so the investigation team are the good guys okay in, in this whole situation yeah comparatively <laughs> though it's probably going is probably a um, I mean they're the 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 least funded group apparently so it makes sense well yes of course trench defunded them when he didn't want them looking into him right item is not in bureau custody none known a frank l contractor olive green dried blood on the grill when last seen item is capable of violent localized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion considered highly aggressive and dangerous first came to Burrow's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Pending calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Burrow communications staff. A team was dispatched upon arrival. The agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mr. Burrow only revealed Mrs. Burrow that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow's earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. Okay, I've gone a little bit long and there's a thing there. I'm hoping there's a control point. Hmm. Not working. You need to power. Probably a loose power there. core somewhere. Yeah. There's a power core. Yeah, but it's not loose. <sighs> There's the socket. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there are stairs. I'm at 30 minutes on one that I, there were seven minutes already on this before. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see what that was that I just picked up. Keystone. Do you know what it was? It was key fi case files? I, I don't know that. Uh, it doesn't look like it's here. The keystone. Glad they're all. That's not a very good. Okay, I'm glad they're all in alphabetical order. Makes it easy to find when you know things. Oh, here we go. We stopped at Keystone on our way to the targeted AWE, like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you. Tr try and keep a lid on this. Room and Morales desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given the records, it is possible they switched teams like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Ruman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults. I'm remembering the file if I'm rem remembering the file correctly. I do a job that involves my voice. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town. The only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings, two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guy working on a cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. Overlapping circle with the dot in the middle uh, was a symbol we have been seeing on the um, the hotel doors. Right. That's the place we can't get in. Right. 
That's a point of loose power cord. Right. And I'm way over time already. This is going to be a long video. Actually, we'll do one more video. I'll switch right now. Okay. Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Control. We are looking for a loose power cord. Uh, cord. Um, yes, welcome back to, uh, story time with Brandon and <coughs> Yep. Where we re-redacted a lot. It's, it's like our favorite word ever. I, I think you need to go up the stairs. At, at the... Yeah. Okay. Possibly. There might be something up here. That's, it, the, that's elevator. the elevator. Okay. I just thought it might be hidden here somewhere. Yep. Uh, nope, it's a good thought. Yeah, um, maybe follow that cable. Oh, what's up the top of the, the, that thing? Lights. Yep. Oh! I can take it off. I didn't think I could. Open. What did I just turn off? Uh, that big bank of lights, I think. Um, that's not good, is it? No. No, that's where the darkness is going to bleed in. There's a motel cord. I am right, no detective, but something definitely happened here. Uh, you talked at the same time she did. So shall we stop here? <laughs> Two minutes? Yeah, I mean... We'll just add it to the to the end of the oversized video that was already there. Or, or, or strip off some of the oversized video. Yeah. And, and make a really weird video. Yeah. Okay, so the other video was about 38 minutes. So this will be 40. I can slid it into two 20s. It'll be weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This group individual has operated outside the interesting bureau's notice for decades perhaps longer displaying a level of sk skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years a company called blessed pictures was connected to an altered item case as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials uh, just the case that they were keeping the altered item in, not the altered item itself. It, are you sure it's uh, like a case as in like a mystery? No, I was joking. Oh. Fritz. I'm very sorry. <sighs> I appear to you be. You are getting tired. <laughs> um, I appear to be in a mood. I didn't apologize. Yeah. In 1994, a Los Angeles based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in legal use of an altered item. 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals has ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed organization. Okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. That sounds cool. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna yep. do some weird splicing of the last three videos, including this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, talk to y'all later. Later, everyone.